Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So it's Wednesday, like in so many different ways. Number one, it's Wednesday because it is Wednesday of the week. Number two, it's Wednesday because we know with the sister to win inside of our tribe, we can have Wednesday every single day. That's what we believe. That's what we are after. And that's what we are striving for is to have Wednesday every single day. So today I got three things that I want to do in this live, and I'm going to do three things during this live. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how to turn a breakdown into a breakout. Come on here. How to turn a breakdown into a breakout. Good morning to Russell. Good morning to Casina. Good morning to my cousin Tammy. So we're going to talk today about how to turn a breakdown into a breakout. First thing though, I got to give some shout outs this morning. Let me shout out, my cousin's birthday was yesterday, so happy birthday to you. It should be your birthday week. Just just, just take off, have a birthday week. Put your cash app in. I want to give you something, to give you some money to go have lunch today. So if you have cash app, throw that in there and I'll jump in there and throw you some money for your lunch today because this is my cousin that supports me in everything that we do. She is there for me. So I want to make sure that I'm a blessing to you today so that you can go do that. All right, shout outs. How is it that you are in a coaching call with one of your clients and the coaching call turns into an accountability session. Wow, I just am so excited. I have the best clients around. I'm telling you, you guys just hear me talk about it. The people that are rocking with our coaching programs, I am so thrilled that they're in my life. From my casinas, who handles all of our banking and all of our money things, to our Vimbe brand new client that is now like my accountability coach. She is just all over me, pushing me. To Shondell, who's editing our latest and greatest book. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm telling you, to my Phaedras, to my Angelas, to my Latanyas, to my Roberts. I mean, I could go on and on, Johnny Mac, to my Audras. I'm telling you right now, I got some great people that are rocking with us. The tribe is increasing and the power is in the strength of who we are. So I'm so excited about them. So I wanted to shout out this morning and just talk about how special it is to run such a powerful organization. What do we do? We go after mediocrity. We are disrupting and just tearing or terrorizing the mediocrity of mankind. We're sick of it. We're introducing people to greater, which is allowing the people to say, why have I sat here for so long? How many of you feel that thing? What's up, Detrick? How many of you feel that thing that you just realized that you have been introduced to something greater? And when you're introduced to your greater, I'm telling you today, you will never want to go back to your old when you see who you really are. I'm closing my eyes because I can envision your life at a whole nother place. And because of that is what causes us to get up every day and to grind the way we grind because we want to introduce to you a brand new you and totally disrupt and totally tell you that mediocrity does not need to be anywhere close to you. Come on here, mediocrity, you need to just get rid of it. I'm telling you, you ought to just, anything in your life that's mediocre, you ought to just serve it its final bill and tell it it will no longer live here. All right, second thing, announcements. Today at one o'clock, don't forget, we're on the radio, 1 p.m. Every Wednesday, Wincast, we're on the radio, 1 p.m. You have multiple places you can watch it. One, you can go to fbrn.us and listen to it live. You'll be able to hear it. You won't be able to see us. You'll be able to hear it. You can listen to us live right there. Number two, you could go to the Assist You to Win page on Facebook and you can listen to the show and see us right there. So 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, fbrn.us or the Assist You to Win page, and you'll be able to watch our show live at 1 p.m. 
And then if somehow your job doesn't permit you to go onto the website, you can't get onto Facebook, you can turn right back around and watch the replay on assistyoutowincoaching.com backslash fishbowl. All of it's in the notes, so you don't have to take notes. It's in the notes. All right, let's jump into it right now. How to turn a breakdown into a breakthrough. <laughs> some, of you, some of you need it for you. But some of you need to catch this because you're going to run into somebody today that has a frown on their face. And you need to be able to give them this, which is going to help turn that frown, come on, David Klett, upside down. We're going to turn frowns upside down today. That's maybe we should have titled it, okay? So how do I turn a breakdown into a breakthrough? Number one, the first thing I got to do is realize that my Feelings are real. They're just not reliable. The first thing I got to realize today is that my feelings are real, but they're not always reliable. Why is that number one? Because what I'm feeling is subject to change at any time. I don't want to allow the feeling that I'm going through right now dictate the wholeness of who I am. I don't care who you are. I don't care how great life is. I don't care how much success you've had. I don't care what it looks like. Each and every one of us will go through something or go through a season or have a moment where we just don't feel like life is going the way we want it. It's just part of life. I don't care how it looks like. I'm now right now rocking with my sister to win. And I mean, things are going very well. And I'm just having a time of my life. But it has not always looked this way. It hasn't always looked this way. It was not, it's not always been where clients have been knocking on the door. People have been asking me to coach them. And there's a waiting list going on right now. It hasn't always been like this. Now, in the course of it, can I tell you what I did understand? That my feelings would not run me because my will would be stronger than my feel. So here's the thing that sometimes you see. You see that the internal compass is stronger than the external situations. Can, you, can I tell that again? My internal fortitude is way stronger than the external circumstances that I can be going through. Now, sometimes what happens is our outside life dictates our inside life. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Let the weather change and your mood changes. Let it rain outside and you want to get up on your couch, find you that blanky blank, snuggle with your boo and watch a movie because the weather sometimes dictates our feelings. Okay, maybe that, that, don't, that don't work for you. My old folks out here, and I'm included in some of this old talk, when the weather changes, your left knee starts to ache. Your big toe starts to shake and your bones begin to feel based on what's happening on the outside. See, I got some likes right there. The reason I know that is because lots of times what happens to us cannot happen in us. See, when you let what happens to you get in you, oh my goodness, you are getting ready to be impacted to a whole nother degree. See, I can let people talk about me, but I can't let it get in me. Because if it gets in me, don't you know that we all have another person's name? Yesterday, I was over there at the, at the football game with Soraya, and she was cheering. And when she was telling her mom bye, she was getting in the car with me. When she was telling her mom bye, they both called themselves by different names. And when we got in the car, I said, Soraya, who is that? She said, oh, that's my, that's my other name that we call ourselves. So, of course, we're black. So she said, that's my white girl name. That's what she said. I'm just telling it. I'm telling it. I'm telling it. She said, that's my white girl name. My point being, you need to make sure that what happens to you doesn't happen in you, because if it happens in you, how many of you know that there's that I could go off person that lives in the inside of you? We're talking about how to turn a breakdown into a breakthrough. 
So number one, my feelings are real, but they're not always reliable. Number two, when I'm turning my breakdowns into a breakthrough, the second thing that I have to do is I have to understand that who is helps me understand that I am. Oh boy. I'm going to stop right here, but you got to catch this point this morning. If you catch this point right here, this is the point that I came on here for, is if you understand that your who is, when you think about who is, it helps me to understand that I am. Here's how I turn my breakthroughs into a break. It, here's how I turn my breakdowns into a breakthrough. It's right here. Me, me. When I start thinking about really who is worthy of, who is smart enough, who is good enough. See, what happens so many times is we've had people walk by us, and this is what sends us into this place, that has either said to us that you can't, you won't, you're not able, you're not capable, you're not smart enough, it's not your time. It's not your season. And we have listened to their words to the point that it has sent us into a breakdown. I thought I could turn this thing over. I thought I could run this business. I thought I could write this book. I thought I could get booked on a stage. I thought I could work into my dream. And because now somebody told me that I can't, that's the who is factor that I have to look at. Who is smart enough? Why is it that you deem the person that you're looking at or looking up to as they're smart enough? What makes them smart enough? Can I tell you what really you need to do? When you look at who is, it should help me to understand that I am. How I turn my breakdowns into breakthroughs is when I realize that I am smart enough to know that I can get out of what I've climbed myself into. I am smart enough to know that I'm one step away from having a different thought. I'm smart enough to know that I have the power inside of my, my mind, inside of my mouth, inside of my movements to change my situation. I'm smart enough to know that. I'm smart enough to know that my life can change just like that. I'm smart enough to know that I don't have to stay here in this, in this situation, but I'm going to use this situation to be able to be my catalyst to put me into my future. I'm smart enough to know that. So how do I turn the breakdown into a breakthrough? I stop the noise of negativity and I start to meditate on my possibility. So I stop the noise of negativity. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Stop stirring the pot of what it is that you are not. Stop turning the pot of what you can and cannot do. Stop doing that and start meditating on your possibility. I need you right where you are to begin to understand that your life is full of purpose. And just because you're in a moment of pain doesn't mean that there's not purpose, Aleem Bakari, in the pain. I have to understand that in this moment of my life, the lessons that I'm learning in the place that I'm living is going to be valuable to the place that I'm going. Oh, but if I break down right here, I'll never get to that place. And if you never get to the place, I made what I went through, I made it not have any purpose. So don't you think that my divorce won't have purpose? Don't you think that my job switch won't have purpose? Don't you think that getting fired from a church won't have purpose? Don't you think that going through and having a blended family won't have purpose? Don't you think, oh, I'm talking about me right now. I'm sorry. You thought I was talking about you. I'm talking about my stuff. Don't you think that my dirt will not have purpose? Because all that I went through, will turn around and work for my good because that's how life is intended to go. So right now where you are, 
not liking what you're going through. You need to understand you're getting ready to be introduced to someone that needs the lesson from where you've been living. Ooh, I feel I feel good this morning. I'm telling you right now, somebody needs to hear me that in the place that you've been living, there's been lessons that you've been learning and you're getting ready to be introduced to the person that needs to hear from you. Oh yes, that's why you're in it. That's why you're going through it. That's why it's happened to you. So some of my entrepreneurs, the reason why you went through struggle is so that you can be have the person to, that's gonna walk to you and you can tell them, you can make it out of struggle. The reason why you've been in abandonment is so you can tell somebody in your alone time is where you're gonna find your purpose. Please don't you throw away the pieces of your life because it was in the examinations of the pieces of my life that I found the purpose to my life. I didn't even admit, I didn't plan on staying on here this long, but y'all know what happens because I feel that I'm talking directly to somebody this morning. I don't even know the somebody I'm talking to right now, but I know I'm talking to somebody and you needed to hear this this morning. You've been in a terrible situation. You've been feeling like breakdown was all around you. You've been feeling discouraged. You've been feeling like why? You've been feeling like it's not my season. You've been feeling like it's not my time. You've been feeling like I can't make it. You've been feeling like, and I'm not talking about, I'm just talking about you've been feeling that thing and I'm telling you right now that you got to be able to find just a little bit of strength inside of you just to be able to get out of your bed and to sit up straight and to be able to tell yourself that I just have enough belief that what I'm in will not cause me to break down but it will cause me to have a turnaround so I'm going to take my breakdown and I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to have a breakout and when I have a breakout, it's going to turn into a outbreak. It's going to turn into an outbreak. I'm telling you right now, there's getting ready to be an outbreak. What is it going to be an outbreak of? It's an outbreak of possibility. It's an outbreak of businesses. It's an outbreak of hope. It's an outbreak of strategy. It's an outbreak of you turning this thing all the way over and all the way around. So I jumped on this morning to talk to my people that have felt like it's time for you to throw in the towel. I'm telling you once again, get that towel, get that towel, wipe yourself up, dry your tears. Come on, dry them right now, right now through Facebook, dry them, dry your tears, dry your tears, dry your tears so that when you make the phone call, they don't hear your voice cracking. Dry your tears to the place that they don't see red in your eyes. Dry your tears to the fact uh, who am I? I'm telling you right now, dry them up, dry them up. And now take those tears and turn them into the, 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 the fighter inside of you that says, I'll figure this thing out. I'll figure this thing out. I will make this thing happen. I will turn this thing around. So today, as I conclude to you this morning, how do you turn your break, your breakdown into your breakthrough? Number one, your feelings are real. They're just not always reliable. Number two, what do I got to do? I got to look at who is, and it's going to help me determine that I am. There ain't any of us that's worthy. There's none of us that's smart enough. There's none of us that's cute enough. So if that's the case, then I am enough. Say it with me. I am enough. I am enough. Okay? So while you're in it, listen to me. You got to keep pushing. Right? Behavior leads to right results. Focus on the right behavior. Focus on the right behavior. Measure the results, focus on the behavior. Pump the well, the water will flow. Pump the well, the water will flow. Don't quit now, because if you quit now, you have to start over. The motor's running. You're in the right thing. You're doing the right thing. So keep moving, All right? It's Derek Butts, assist you to win. Come on now, the connecting place for winners. I'm telling you right now, when you get introduced to this person, I want you to just high five them, hug them, and let them know, I already got your lesson. I've been in it. I already know how to get out of it. I've been through it. I already got your hope. I, I Pull it out, hug them, and let them know. You won't stay in it too long because I'm going to help you. I'm going to guide you through this. All right. Go have a great day.
if you can, come listen to me. The broadcast is going to be something totally different than this, 1 p.m. I told you how to do it. If you need to reach out to me, come on, y'all. Y'all know y'all. Come on, I see you, Latanya. I see you, Fatima. I see you, Minister. Come on. I feel y'all. Thank you. I feel you. I feel you. Listen to me. From my heart to yours, right now, I'm in the room with you. I get we're on social media. I get it. I get it, and I get it. Fatima, I got you. We're about to be on the telephone talking. I got you. Tarsha, good morning. Listen to me. I feel you right now this morning. This is not one of those hey, come on here, do this. I feel you this morning. This came from my heart. This came from the inner place of me, right? Right now, I'm talking to my tribe people right now. I'm talking to the people that you're on and you needed this right here. That's what I'm talking to right now. I'm telling you more than you know. I understand the tough days. I understand busting your butt and not seeing a result. I understand having a dream and it doesn't seem like you have anything close to the, the dream coming to pass. Let me talk to you. I'm talking to you right now. Let all the rest of them get off. Let them get off for a second. That's fine. I don't need to, I don't want to talk to them right now. I want to talk to you. I'm talking to you right now. When it seemed like you had more vision than provision, and it seemed like you were crazy, stupid, you were wild, you had people now doubting you, you had people, you, matter of fact, not even people doubting you. I'm talking about your own mind was doubting you. What I tell you, in July, I wanted to, see, I just threw it at you. If you didn't see it, I wanted to throw it all in. And the crazy part is I had the best stinking month, two months in a row, but I wanted to throw it all in because what happens? When we get the dream, we don't get the scale method. When we get the dream, we don't get the enduring factor. When we get the dream, we don't get the fact that it's going to look totally different. Okay, okay. Pastor D, I see you, Pastor Damon. Mimi, yes, I feel you. Can I give you one illustration? Well, I can because I'm on, so I'm going to. So let me tell you. Let me tell you right now, one illustration that you need to catch, and you need to get this this morning. Hey, Lakeisha Michelle, how you doing? One illustration you better catch. An 18-wheeler driving down the freeway. When it gets off and exits, and it gets ready to make a right turn on the street. Now, I'm talking about an 18-wheeler, y'all. I'm not talking about a Pinto. See, a Pinto can get up to the right at the curb and just turn right. But an 18-wheeler? What? An 18-wheeler, before it turns right, it turns left. Come on, y'all. Right where you are. Come on, get your roll on. It turns left. But I thought it was turning right, Coach Derek. It is. But it turns left to give itself some room so it can make that right turn onto the road. <laughs> Who am I telling to? Who am I talking to? It looks like you're going wrong and you're really going right. Come on. It looks like it ain't going to work, but it's actually going to work in your favor. It looks like it's not going to ever be what I saw it in my dream. And I'm telling you right now, you're closer when it looks wrong than you do when it looks right. I'm talking about it's turning left, but it's supposed to be going right. I'm telling you right now, there's that unawkward place Y'all, come on, where are my black women at on here? Y'all know what that unawkward place is? You growing your hair and your hair, you know, it, 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 come on. It's that unawkward place. It's that unawkward place. It, it, it ain't grew all the way out yet. You can't style it yet. You really want to cut it all the way back off, but you want to grow it out and it's in that unawkward place. Who am I talking to? Yeah, go on over there to the beautician, get you something to put on your head, make it look longer for a moment. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I'm telling you right now, that's where your life is right now. It's unawkward. I was just there. I was just there. And truth be told, we're going to go back there again. It's just part of the game. It's going to look like this, but it's going to really be on pace to be doing this. And I'm telling you right now, this is where you got to trust when you can't trace. This is when you got to hold when you get, when you don't feel the hope. This is when you got to stay and you got to stay steady. You got to stay consistent. You got to stay on your plan. Even when it looks, you don't just drop the weight. You go to the gym. What do you got to do? Sometimes you just got to press on. Sometimes you're gonna add, you got to add to the fight. You got to add to the fire. And I'm telling you today, <laughs> who are the people I'm talking to, y'all know I'm talking to you. You know I'm talking to you. 
And I'm telling you right now, hang on, hold out, because you don't know when you're going to handshake and hug the next place of possibility. What do I tell you all the time? You're one handshake and hello away from unlimited possibility. You don't know when you're going to meet that person. You don't know when they're going to say yes. You don't know how long they've been looking at you. You don't know how long they've been observing. I had the second in command of AutoNation start searching my page on LinkedIn. That means they looking, they looking, they're looking. I don't know when a $100,000 contract comes if they want me to train everybody. I don't know when it comes. I don't know when that next big thing happens with the next big company. I don't know. Or I don't even know when you say, you know what? That's my coach right there. I need to work with them now. It's time for me to do. I don't know when that happens, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show up every day. I'm going to give you the best that I got. I'm going to keep producing results. I'm going to keep plugging away. I'm going to keep doing what I do. I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep writing in the midnight hour. I'm going to keep meditating. I'm going to keep believing God. I'm going to keep doing the right thing. I'm going to keep on the... You see where I'm going? If you'll just keep on doing that, let the miracle happen when the miracle happens. All right. All right. Y'all been cool. Y'all been kind. Share this. Share this with somebody. Y'all know somebody need it. Y'all go share it. Share it. I love you. I appreciate you. Hey, follow me. Assist you to win. For those of you that ain't clicked the link and followed, today I, it's a gift. We came out here today. We've been playing like this over here privately for a minute. It's time for you to play with us. It's time for you to join the squad. It's time for you to bring your business. It's time for you to get inside of our life cycle circle that we're creating. It's time for you to get inside the tribe where we add value to people. This is what we do. We help you sell more of your what so you can spend more time around your why. That's what we do. It's time for you to come. Yes, it's an investment. You're right, it is. Get involved in your investment because every investment I've ever made, I get a return. Every single one. I'm so excited about the end of the month to go hang out with my Lakeisha Michelles, go hang out with my coach Susie Carters, to go hang out with coach Lisa Nichols. I'm so excited to be there with Matt Gill and just be there with the rest of my tribe. I'm excited because I know what happens when I go there, I get infused and I come back and I bring it to my tribe. My tribe knows some of you can't make it this year. It's okay. I'm going. You sent me. You you push me. You make sure I'm there. And then naturally what? It's going to all come back because we don't hide secrets. We deliver value, right? That's what we do. So be encouraged today. Yes. Right now, your discouragement should have jumped off you. It should have jumped off you. What did you say, Tarsha? Yes, you've been talking about it. Keep getting your lick back. I love it. You've been talking about it. Come on, keep getting your lick back. Yeah, y'all know how y'all say it. Say it the way y'all say it. Y'all know it. Get your lick back. Pastor D, reminders and grinders. Come on here. Phaedra, persevere with Phaedra. Latanya, calling all these queens. Where you at? Right? This is how we rock, y'all. This is how we rock. This is how we rock. We rock strong. We rock hard. This is what we do. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. And I'm really out of here. Seriously, I'm out. I'm out. Bye. Love y'all. I'll be on at one o'clock. Wind cast. Talking about how to sell something. Sell some so you don't have to sell some. It's a song, it's a rap song. I'm just made it up. Sell some. Ugh, 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 ugh. What's up, Pat? Y'all caught this late. Hey, somebody in here tell you that you better go listen to this one. All right, I'm gonna download this one. I'm gonna upload this one to YouTube. I feel like this is that one. Okay, y'all stop putting all these stuff on here. Stop hitting the button like that. Stop all that. Y'all, we gotta go. Let's go get something done. Here, I'm, you know what I'm about to do? I'm about to do some. I'm about to put my email in here because somebody's getting ready to email me and I'm going to email them back and we're going to talk. And we're going to get your stuff together, right? So I just put that in there, put that in the post. What's up, Stephanie? My new friend, Stephanie, Power of Connections. Latonya introduced me to Stephanie. It's another game changer, world changer, international voice. Yeah, yeah. Andrea, I have to play it back. Yeah, you got to play this one back, Andrea. For any, let me tell you something. When you do a live for 30 minutes and and more people get on the live than the live, I'm going to tell you right now, you got to play this one back. All right. Okay, y'all. I just put my email in there. Somebody's getting ready to reach out. I already know. I feel you. Erica, yes. Miss Richardson, you need to play this one back. I know. Yep, 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 yep. 
Okay. I'm out of here. One o'clock. See y'all. Bye. Love you. No matter your age or stage, race or place, whatever you do, go win.